iltapäivässä vieraana Doug Stanhope. Mr. Stanhope, welcome and good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm a little drunk and yeah. uh, mostly tired and uh, happy to be here. You still have your bathrobe on, have you noticed? Yeah, we've been doing press since like 8 o'clock in the morning, so we didn't dress up. Yeah, just figured you'd wear that throughout the day. I'm doing radio. I didn't think it really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> so you look like... I didn't what? know I'd be on the internet, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> well, I'm almost afraid to ask ask you this, Doug, uh, uh, knowing what, what you, you've said before, but... Uh, this is your first time in Finland, am I right? Yeah, yeah, so, first time for all of us. So you came yesterday? Yeah, we got here yeah. yesterday, and I haven't done anything except radio, have you, TV, and have you press. Seen, have you seen anything that catches your eye, or have you... Uh, we got, went to a sushi bar last night, and uh, but I was already under the influence of sleeping pills, so I don't even remember much of that. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, but we'll go out tonight and get hammered with the locals, and... Find out what's what and learn all the shit that you can't figure out on Wikipedia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, gather up some material to use against you for the next four nights. <laughs> Actually, we, if, if you want to piss somebody off, we have a couple of suggestions. If you want to fire Go away, <laughs> whatever you do, Doc, don't don't say that our greatest war hero, Mr. Mannerheim, is in any way related to men or or is interested in men. If, if you say that, that'll piss people off, definitely. Right, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, and uh, don't say that Santa Claus is from some somewhere else than from Finland. Yeah, that's that's something uh, you shouldn't say. Should I should I dare mention Pablo Francisco isn't really funny? <laughs> <laughs> Would that be going too far? No, no, I think that, one that's... One man, one joke, milked for 15 years. Yeah, over so, and over again. Yes. And whatever you but, do, Doug, don't say that our cross-country skiers all, all use hormones. If you, if you say something like that, that'll piss people off. Cross-country skiing <laughs> can get public notice here. Because you, you wonder, well, like, like, how do the Olympics still exist? They're caveman-era sports. And it's because you guys watch shit like that without them even being in the Olympics. You, I mean, like, the Olympics have all the components of what could be a sport if you combine them, but alone they're nothing. What do you do? I throw a thing as far as I can. And then what happens? Does someone catch it and run with it? Oh no, catching and running are different sports altogether. Yeah. You, you get that. some of them are just never mind. Let's move on with the interview. <laughs> Cross country skiing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a okay. form of transportation <laughs> for cavemen. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You were in Norway. How do you put down Taking Nor the bus should be a, a popular sport. <laughs> Go ahead. How do you compete with taking the bus? I don't. But who <laughs> takes the faster bus? I guess. Yes. <laughs> you, well, you were in Norway, and 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 how do you, how do you put down the Norwegians? I mean, they got everything. They've got the yeah, oil. They get, and, yeah, they get everything. They're rich and they're happy, and you, you can't even afford to get drunk there. I, half of my shows, I was sober, which never happens. Uh. <laughs> it's just because I, I did the math. I did the exchange rate. I, I can't get drunk. <laughs> I'm Alcoholism a, should not be something that you strive for as a s financial status symbol where you, you know, girls want to meet you, dr the drunkest guy in the room because he has the most money. He's got a full tank of gas and he's shit-faced. I, 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 I think you came to the right country. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we're going to do some drinking. <laughs> that, that's probably something that you're going to definitely find in Finland. We've already been looking through people's salesmen's cubicles out there, trying to find the one with a bottle in his bottom drawer, and we failed. Yeah. Now, Doug Sanhope is here with us. And uh, first of all, Doug, if you feel uh, the urge to put Finns down, go ahead. Give us your best shot at any moment. Because uh, we're not now, we're not in Ireland, and we're not in Leeds. Because you were performing at Leeds Festival. Well, and you said something about the royal family that got some people upset. And, and I yeah, ask, well, what was, was that all about? Yeah, that, that, that was a music festival that I shouldn't have even been playing to begin with. Because if you don't know what I do and you just show up out of the blue, nine out of ten people will fucking hate me. It's, it's, a, a, lot of, it's a lot of hate and anger and it, a lot of stuff that people usually go to comedy to get away from and that's all I do but my silly Scottish manager sitting here decided that in front of my London theater shows I should do a couple of warm-up shows at these music festivals 
where they, you know, it's a bunch of kids who've been sleeping in mud puddles for three days, and they're waiting for Faith No More to start, but they had this tent for comedy to get out of the rain, and they don't, I was, they were throwing fruit at me, <laughs> and Brian knew, like, I told him, I don't want to do a music festival, they'll can hate me, and he's like, I know, but, but these are very high profile gigs. There you go. That's all the more reason not to go there and suck. You know, if, if, gonna, if I'm going to be pelted with garbage, I prefer that to be a more low key event. Maybe a private party. <laughs> like, I've I've hired you to be raped by pigs. I don't think I want to do that, Brian. But wait, it's at the Super Bowl halftime special. I think that's worse. So what was the deal with Ireland then? What Ireland, do you say? I just that was. Some spin doctoring with the press. I just, yeah, I, I made it was a longer bit, but boiled down, I basically said that Irish women are too ugly to rape. In reaction to, oh. the, there was some <laughs> some sex offender had been released on a technicality, and where he's obviously guilty. And the entire country was up in arms thinking that this guy's going to immediately, you know, escape the paparazzi that's following him and come into their backyard and rape their kid. <laughs> and I made some reference to looking around the town. I've noticed that, you know, <laughs> basically they're too yeah. ugly to rape. <laughs> the, talking about pedophiles, I, I heard that you have your own means of punishing pedophiles online. Can you tell us something about uh, that? Yeah, that's only funny if you read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we used to do it. It was called baiting, like fish bait, where you'd go online on Instant Messenger and set up your profile to say that you were a 13-year-old girl that likes hot, sexy talk with older men. And you'd bait pedophiles into...